Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to make a DIY spot welder. There are a lot of videos regarding this topic, but none of them explain the challenges in this task. I have done so many attempts and I make it work. So I will explain everything in this video, what are the problems and what may be done to solve them. So guys, let's start the video. My name is Nishant and you are watching Create Eco Friendly. In the first attempt, I used microwave oven transformer, 10 mm copper wire, I have a spare doorbell which act as a push switch, a connector and aluminum nails. So let's start the process. The transformer ki primary coil, the transformer ki secondary coil. First remove the secondary coil of the transformer. Now we have to wind the secondary coil using 10 mm copper wire but less number of turns to increase the current because it will help in sport welder using heating effect of current. Complete the circuit as per the given circuit diagram and I am just using the handle for temporary holding. It's not necessary to use it. Now connect the nails. and make sure this should be of equal size you can adjust them as per your needs but they should be pointed in order to reduce the surface area of the point of contact but this is not going to work the metal to be welded becomes red hot but it did not stick together so i measured the voltage on two tons and it gives 1.6 voltage and current around 300 amps. In the next try, I use copper nails and I increase the number of turns to 3. And it just gives output 2.5 volt. And it also did not work. You can see iron is getting red hot. And this wire is also getting quite hot. Oops, this is hot too. Let me use this. You can see, not quite a good weld. I think this is because of transformer. This transformer is not giving sufficient output. The rating of this transformer says 800 watt. Perhaps it may not be of 800 watt. As it's Chinese and I check it out, it has aluminium coils, so not giving proper output or maybe 800 watt is not sufficient enough for sport welding. So in the next try, I used two transformer instead of one. Both of them as primary coil in parallel and secondary coil are in series. This time I use two tons of secondary coil and it gives output 3.1 volt. And I again try spot welding. You can see again red hot.
This time too, the welding was not too good, but better than last time. So in the next try, I again increase number of turns. Now I'm using three turns of secondary collision series. On measuring voltage, it is found that the output voltage is 4.8 volt. And this time, it seems to be more powerful. The weld was improved, but it was not up to the mark. So I again increase the number of tons. This time I'm using 4 tons of the secondary coil in series. You can see the output voltage is now 6.5 volts and this time my doorbell as a push button burn out. So I have to purchase 10 ampere push switch button. You can see that. And now I'm going to test it whether it is going to work or not. Yeah, it's quite impressive. Wow. Let me focus on the sheet. See, I'm applying a good amount of force and it is still in one piece. I'm unable to remove it. Wow. And I have just used two spots. Wow, this is working now. Let's test on the real test subject. That is my battery. Here we go. One spot. Two spot. And three spot. You can see it's holding quite good. Let me apply some more force, yeah. You can see that nickel strip is just get broken in removing it. So this test case is a success and I'm going to use it in my next videos for sport welding for my DIY battery packs. And I think a sport welder should have more than 800 or 900 watt to do sport welding and should have number of turns in such a way that it gives output 5 volt or more. And guys, I think it's quite powerful. So I'm going to use a timing circuit in the next video to make it a quite good sport welder. I hope it will help you guys. If you learn from this video, please give a big Here thumbs up and also share it with your friends and family. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. If you still have some doubts, do let me know them in the comment section. See you in the next video. Bye bye.